Hello and welcome to another Hosting Your Academy tutorial. My name is Gudas and today in this video I will help you to decide which hosting plan is the right fit for you. I completely understand how confusing it can be while choosing the right hosting, especially when you are a beginner. That's why in this video I will explain to you the main difference between shared web hosting, cloud hosting, WordPress hosting and VPS. You will learn what type of hosting is the right fit for your website or project. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Alright, so let's say you decided to create your first website. You might already have a domain name and the next thing that you need is hosting. If you are wondering which plan you should choose, I will help you to answer this question. And once you know which hosting plan you want to use, don't forget to apply coupon code HA10 to get 10% discount off your purchase. Alright, so let's start with shared web hosting. It's called shared hosting for a reason, because you will be sharing resources with other websites on the same server. Without doubt, it's one of the most popular types of hosting and it's best suited for beginners. It's easy to use and it's affordable. You can even start your website with as low as 99 cents per month. So if you are a beginner and you don't want to spend a lot, this might be a perfect choice for you. At Hostinger, we have three different shared hosting plans. So we have single shared hosting, premium shared hosting and business shared hosting. With a single shared hosting plan, you will be able to host a single website, you will get one email account with your domain name and a free SSL certificate. It's a great option for beginners who are just starting out. This type of hosting is capable of handling around 10,000 monthly visits. With a single shared hosting, you can easily host blogs, business websites or any other similar type of website without any issues. I wouldn't recommend using it for e-commerce websites like WooCommerce because it doesn't have enough resources compared to other plans. Alright, so the next option is a premium shared hosting plan. With this plan, you will be able to host up to 100 websites and create up to 100 business email accounts. As well, this plan comes with a free SSL certificate and a domain name. This type of hosting is capable of handling around 25,000 monthly visits. It is a great option for everyone who needs more resources and is planning to host multiple projects or websites. This plan has enough resources for blogs, business websites or any other similar type of website. So I wouldn't use it for e-commerce websites because again, such types of websites require more resources. For example, in the beginning when you don't get a lot of traffic to your e-commerce website or your online store is considerably small, you could use this plan. But eventually your website will start loading slowly and that's an indication that you need a better plan, just like a business shared hosting. And talking about this particular plan, it will come with all features of a premium shared hosting. It will come with the daily backups and it will include free CDN or in other words content delivery network that will help your website load faster. Business shared hosting is capable of handling around 100,000 monthly visits. So a business shared hosting plan is a great choice for growing websites or e-commerce sites. It can handle more traffic compared to other shared hosting plans and it has more resources. So for example, if you would host a WordPress website, you could install more plugins compared to the premium plan and your website would run completely normal without experiencing any decrease in load time. But hey, don't forget, there are limits to everything and if you will start installing a lot of plugins to your website, you might experience a decrease in load time. Even though business shared hosting is the most powerful plan among shared hosting plans, it doesn't mean that it has enough resources for everything. So that's something you should be aware of. Alright, since we are finished with shared hosting, let's move on to cloud hosting. So as you remember, with shared hosting, you are sharing resources, but this doesn't apply to cloud hosting. With this type of hosting, you will get dedicated resources and you will not be sharing them with anyone else. This is a great option for quickly growing websites when shared hosting is not enough anymore. That's because it offers the power and reliability of a VPS with the simplicity of shared hosting. Usually, you don't start with cloud hosting, especially when you are a beginner. Simply because in the beginning you don't need so many resources, you can start with shared hosting and once you see that your website needs an upgrade, you can always move to cloud hosting at any time you need. At Hostinger, we have three different cloud hosting plans. So we have Cloud Startup, Cloud Professional and Cloud Global. As you can see, each plan has more resources than the other. As well, they all come with the free SSL certificate, domain name, daily backups and CDN. 
When you move from shared hosting to cloud, I would recommend choosing Cloud Startup. It has way more resources than shared hosting and most likely you will not need to think about upgrading it for quite a while. And if you already have a well-established website that gets a lot of traffic and requires more resources, you might consider other plans. In a lot of cases, you can start with a cloud startup and once you need more resources, you can easily upgrade just with a few clicks. Cloud hosting is as easy to use as shared hosting and it has as much dedicated resources as VPS. It's a great choice for e-commerce websites, large blogs, business websites or any other similar type of website. Alright, next up, WordPress hosting. WordPress hosting is similar to shared hosting. It's a great choice for beginners, especially for ones who are planning to use WordPress as their content management system. Just like with shared hosting, with this type of hosting, you will be sharing resources with other websites. So that means you will not have dedicated resources as you would have with cloud hosting or VPS. The main difference between shared and WordPress hosting is that WordPress hosting is optimized for WordPress. That's great news for beginners because your website will run fast and smoothly. You will not need to deal with the tricky part of optimization yourself. At Hostinger, we have four different plans for WordPress hosting. We have Single WordPress, WordPress Starter, Business WordPress and WordPress Pro. As you can see right here, with a single WordPress plan, you will be able to host on one website, you will get one email account and it doesn't come with a Jetpack plugin. Jetpack simplifies managing WordPress sites by giving you visitor stats, security services, speeding up images and helping you get more traffic. All other plans come with more resources and are capable of handling more monthly visits. Besides that, WordPress Starter and Business WordPress plans are included with the free version of the Jetpack plugin. Meanwhile, WordPress Pro comes with a personal version of Jetpack that offers even more features. It's also worth mentioning that Business WordPress and WordPress Pro plans come with a free content delivery network. That's great news because you will have a faster loading website without needing to spend any extra money. Alright, so the first two plans are great options for blogs, business websites or any other similar types of websites. The last two plans are fully capable of handling not just blogs or business websites, but small sized WooCommerce stores as well. So if you are 100% sure that you will use WordPress as your content management system, you should consider choosing the WordPress plan. It's easy to use, it's fully optimized and customer support has a dedicated WordPress team. So if you will face any issues, the team of professionals will be here 24-7 to assist you with any questions. And in the last stop, we have VPS hosting or a virtual private server. Not like any other type of hosting mentioned here before, VPS is for advanced users because you will need some technical knowledge. You will have full root access, so you will be able to take full control of your server. That means that you can install a wide range of operating systems, work on resource heavy projects and do much more than you could do with shared or any other hosting. With this type of hosting, you will get dedicated resources just like with cloud hosting, but you will lose the simplicity of it. Usually people who choose VPS, they already know what they are looking for. At Hostinger, you will find 6 different VPS plans. Even though there are 6 different plans, don't get confused. The only difference is dedicated resources. The higher the plan, the more resources you will get. Using VPS, you can host any type of website or project. If you are a beginner, I wouldn't recommend you to start with this type of hosting. Alright, so now you know the main difference between all hosting plans and it should be much easier to decide which hosting plan you should choose. To sum it up, Shared and WordPress hosting are for beginners who are just starting with their websites and don't need a lot of resources. Cloud hosting is for experienced users with fast growing websites and VPS hosting is for advanced users who most likely already know what they are looking for. So this is it, now you know the main difference between hosting your plans. Also, if you want to learn how to create your own website, don't forget to check these videos. And if you liked our content, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Goodbye.